it is Black Hercules who goes for home. Vigil to the near side. Shane Till is on the inside. These are followed by Silver Concord and Modus. And then towards the near side is Joshua Lane. Still just over a furlong to go. It is now Shane Till with Silver Concord on the inside and Robbie McNamara. They're racing well inside the final furlong. Silver Concord now takes the lead and racing up towards the line. Silver Concord will win the bumper for Derma Weld. It was Silver Concord who got the goal today. But Moon Racer now on the turn in, and here he goes, going on by three or four lengths. Sent for the line by Tom Scudamore as they move into the straight and opens up. Paulitzi in second place, Ink Master Arabic history behind those, and then comes Robbie Rabbit. But it's Moon Racer who's clear. He's inside the last furlong now, and he leads by about seven, eight, no, it's ten lengths now, could be twelve. Moon Racer is going to be a very impressive winner of this. Comes up towards the line and absolutely. Absolutely demolishes the opposition. Arabic history has come through to grab second. Racing down the hill then towards the last three flights here in the Skybet Supreme Novices Hurdle. It's Vortur in front three out, rather dived at that though. On his outside is the Liquidator, followed then by Wicklow Brave and Vanitur with Gil Gamboa shaken up. Valser Lido in with a chance as well. Western Boy starts to pick up on the outside in the green cap, Josses Hill and also Wild Blue yonder as they take the second last. Bad mistake, Gil Gamboa. Terrible mistake, knocked him out of the race. And it's Vortur who's in front now, has got his right on the stretch, they're straightening up the home here and Vortour has quickened into a four-length lead as he rises up towards the final flight here. Wicklow Brave is after him in second place. Josses Hill and then Vanitur in third and fourth, followed by Wild Blue Yonder. The final flight now for Vortour, a good leap when he needed it. Wicklow Brave has got four lengths to find. Josses Hill, Western Boy trying to stay on, but Vortour is powering away up the hill and will be first blood to Ireland to Willie Mullins and Ruby. Ruby Walsh, Vortor, Winter Supreme Novices. Wide open race as they took three out. Irish Cavalier down the centre. And Moray Alato looking to battle on Sergeant Reckless has come there going well towards the inside. Josses Hill is right there as well. As they go towards two out, Josses Hill touched down with the lead, but now pressed immediately by Sergeant Reckless as they run down towards the final flight of hurdles. Not much in it now, but two between the pair. Josses Hill and Sergeant Reckless clear now from Baltimore Rock. They skip over the last of better drop there from Josses Hill who landed a length to the good. A Sergeant Reckless in second, they clear from Baltimore Rocky King of the Picks. As they go with half a foul on left, it's Josses Hill on the Barry Garrity, driven right out to win the top of his hurdle. And it's Josses Hill for Nicky Henderson, he wins this race yet again. As they make the turn in, it's Hurricane Fly taken on by the J.P. McManus Battalion as they race down the walls of final quarter mile. It is Jeski who strikes the lead. My tent or yours looms towards the inside. The final flight, Jeski's over in front, more fluent than my tent or yours in second. Hurricane Fly sees his title slipping in third. 100 yards to go, Jeski to my tent or yours who's coming hard. Here's the line. Jeski is the champion hurdler. A quarter of a mile to go in the Neptune, and it is Faheen who has got the lead. Red Sherlock is driven. Bally Alton on the outside. Lieutenant Colonel, followed by Raf Vinden, who tries to barge his way through. Racing down towards the final flight, and it is Faheen who has gone clear. Ruby Walsh and Faheen at the last, away and clear. Bally Alton into the inside, Raf Vinden, followed by Kilala Key and 12 Roses that powering up the Cheltenham Hill. It is Faheen for Willie Mullins and for Ruby Walsh, Faheen wins the Neptune. Annie Power pushes her way through to challenge at Fisher's Cross and more of that at the last, more of that and Annie Power a changing of the tide of the stairs, both with unbeaten records, come to the last together, more of that on the right, Annie Power on the left, the two set up the Cheltenham Hill, it's more of that Barry Garrity, narrowly from Annie Power who enters unknown territory and it's more of that who's going to preserve the unbeaten record, more of that, five out of five.
and neither has Menora. And here's the third from home in the King George. Q card jumps it supremely well. A bad mistake by the beaten long run at the time. Good recovery. Down now towards a second from home. And it is Q card who's simply trying to gallop them into the ground. Two out in the King George. Q card, another immaculate leap. Joe Tizard steals a peak. He has a lead of two and a half lengths. Silviana Conti rallying again in the hands of Noel Feely as they come down towards the final fence. And Silviano Conti has taken the lead over the final fence. Q card now with three lengths to find and racing up towards the line. It is going to be a record eighth win in the King George for trainer Paul Nichols as Silviano Conti wins the King George. Q card was in second. Here's the second from home, Champagne Fever is repelling all Raiders. Try pull him on the outside. Ted Veal was a faller when beaten at the second last. Here's the final fence now. Champagne Fever in second place, Trifolium and Western Warhorse. A remarkable run, having hit a flat spot at the top of the hill. He is rallying manfully towards the near side. Champagne Fever, though, digs racing to line. Champagne Fever.